How's it going? It's week two of Premier League predictions and finally we have all 20 teams having a go and trying to get their three points. Uh, meanwhile for us, our week one uh, didn't go too bad actually. We got three big red blocks on there, the other ones uh, being correct results so not too bad. You guys though as always did a lot better and we've got a lot of golden, golden green ticks on there. Loads of twos. As uh, so well done, I think West Brom Leicester were probably the most averagely uh, one correct. But our champion with the golden crown is on page two, and that belongs to you, Zaid. Uh, so well done to you. Three was our uh, winning score. But again, thank you. It does mean a lot when everyone does comment, and uh, it takes a wonderful long time to uh, go through all the scores. But anyway, let's go on to week two's predictions without further ado so we're going to start this week with Everton versus West Bromwich and I've gone for the home team here I think Everton uh, I don't think many people really backed them to get that win against Tottenham but they did uh, they're against West Brom they lost 3-0 in their first game I'm not really backing them on this one Everton to win 2-0 at home at Belland Road 3-1 I think to Leeds they showed that good quality against Liverpool who were a bit shaky in defence but Leeds this is a, what, a championship rematch, is it? 3-1. I've gone far, I think Fulham could have a very long season ahead, especially if Mitrovic is starting on the bench. Manchester United are finally now in action, and they probably will win this game 2-0. Credit to Crystal Palace. They got a 1-0 win in their previous match when, well, I've wrote off pretty much the whole season, but they seem to be in gear at the moment, and they'll be looking to try and upset the odds. But I've gone for 2-0 here at Old Trafford. 3-0 uh, to Arsenal. Uh, West Ham is one of them teams I have back to get relegated this season. Uh, and I think, you know, it won't be a happy game for them today. Because Banyang just signing a contract. Willian seems to be uh, having a new lease of life there as well at Arsenal. So I've backed them to win 3-0. Uh, this one's a tricky one, actually. Because um, Southampton at home, you think, probably a bit strong. But they have lost some of their midfield players now. One of them going to Tottenham, of course. Now, Tottenham are... Strange side anyway to predict normally, but I have backed them for a 2-0 win away from home. Newcastle Brighton, I've gone for a 2-1 home win. It seems uh, confidence may be quite high at Newcastle at the moment, and uh, they could go on a good run here with uh, Brighton. Not being pushovers themselves, but uh, it's a perfect opportunity for Newcastle to get the three points, 2-1. This is probably the hardest, it's the biggest game of the week, Chelsea versus Liverpool. and. Liverpool, yes, they got the win uh, at the weekend against Leeds, but defensively they were a bit shaky, as I said. So I've gone for 1-1. I think they do struggle at Stamford Bridge, do Liverpool. Uh, hence they'll drop the points there. Leicester-Burnley, Burnley kicking off their campaign finally uh, against the Leicester side, who I've backed to win in this game as well. I've gone for 2-1. Uh, it really is a free-for-all at this point. Not much to work on between these sides. Of course, Leicester beating West Brom 3-0. Villa take on Sheffield United, and uh, hopefully there won't be a ghost score in this game. But um, I'm actually going back Aston Villa for a win on this one. They've made some, they've made a lot of signings again. I think there's there's some good good signings made there. Sheffield United, they'll be wanting to improve though, won't they? And finally, Wolves Manchester City. I've gone for two two. I think Wolves certainly got the quality to compete um, as well. Manchester City being away from home. I've gone for 2 2. It's, it's one of them test ones. I don't really know how it will go in the end, but that concludes my predictions already. Uh, so, do you think you could do better than me? I mean, I think most people do. <laughs> Make sure you comment down below with your predictions uh, in the same order so it's nice and easy uh, to review. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.